Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin, this is my co-host Teddy and today I'm doing the Ryzen 5 1400 going up against a simulated <laughs> Ryzen 3 1200X. So this was something you guys were uh, asking me to do and I just thought I may as well do it while I've got all these Ryzen CPUs here. So basically from what I have gathered, the Ryzen 3 1200X will be a four core, four thread CPU with an eight megabyte L3 cache and a base clock of 3.4 gigahertz and a boost clock of 3.8, although it will have XFR, so that will probably go higher. We'll talk about clock speeds a little bit later. So in order to do this simulated test, what we can do is use the Ryzen 5 1400. If you disable SMT, it goes from an eight thread CPU to a four thread CPU. It also has the eight megabyte L3 cache as opposed to uh, the larger cache you get on the 1500X. And uh, yeah, with clock speeds, I thought to make it fair, I would just set both of them to both of them, <laughs> both tests at uh, 3.8 gigahertz on uh, all four cores, which I think is very fair. And a lot of people would probably do that with both CPUs if the uh, 1200X will not do a 3.8 gigahertz on all four cores which it probably might, but you never know. So, because we don't have all the information just yet, this is a simulated test, you have to take it with a little bit of a grain of salt, but I've tried to make it as accurate as possible. So, with all that being said, uh, test rig wise, of course I'm using my uh, Aorus Gaming K7 X370 rig, and let's jump into the benchmarks, which can also serve as showing what the uh, Ryzen 5 1400 performs like with SMT disabled. So let's see how it does. We're back so very interesting there um, obviously in productivity the scores are going to go way way down for the simulated 1200x as opposed to the 1400 because it's four threads versus eight threads but it gets quite interesting when we get to gaming the fact that it's equal or very close to it uh, and even beating it by a frame or half a frame in some of the tests is very interesting now AMD have stated time after time that with SMT disabled the performance should be either the same or worse. I think this will probably be true for our games moving forward but many of the uh, older titles you might play, even games that only came out say like 18 months ago, um, you might still see that difference there with SMT disabled. But yeah, if we take this as a simulated test it shows the 1200X does a very, very good job. Which brings us then to the conclusion, and this is quite interesting. So I can see now why AMD has spaced out the release of the Ryzen 3 um, from the Ryzen 5. That's because I think if they release the Ryzen 3 CPUs right now, like the 1200X for example, no one would probably buy the 1400 anymore or the 1500X. It would kill off the quad-core Ryzen 5 lineup. 
Now, my reasoning for saying that is because most people aren't going to be buying these CPUs for productivity stuff. And there's been a, like, as, as, for as far back as Sandy Bridge, people have been discussing and debating uh, with the Intel CPUs if it's better to have the i5 or the i7 for a modern example the 7600k or the 7700k or the 6600k or the 6700k do you want the 4 core 4 threads or the 4 core 8 threads now that whole discussion is much much bigger than uh, this video um, so I'm not going to get into it but it's still an interesting debate that people have been talking about for a very very long time so with all that being said I think the Ryzen 3 CPUs are going to perform very very well in gaming I think they're going to be awesome and I think AMD knows that and that's why they're spacing out the release of it because they want obviously people to buy the 1400 and 1500X and of course then they'll release the Ryzen 3's later and of course a lot of people will buy them and I personally don't think many people will be buying the Ryzen 5 1400 and 1500X uh, once the Ryzen 3s have come out. The 1600 and 1600Xs will still obviously sell. Um, but yeah, that's what I personally think. But I want this to be a discussion, guys. So let me know in the comment section down below, what do you think about the whole argument of 4-core four 4-threads four versus 4-core 8-threads, you know, that i5, i7 discussion. And also, um, what do you think about the Ryzen 3 lineup and, you know, how you think it'll do? I'd really like to know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Uh, let's have a discussion about this because, yeah, I think this is really, really interesting from the results I got here today. I thank you all for watching this video. Please subscribe to Tech Showdown if you haven't already and like the video. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.